Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope that you all are having a wonderful day and that you watch this video till the very end. You're going to open the door looking like that? But breakfast is here. I'll get it. Oh, thank you. We need to leave for the airport at 9 o'clock, but I haven't packed yet. What are you doing? I'm packing. I didn't have time last night. Eat some breakfast first. I'm not hungry. You should eat without me. I got tossed around by you all last night. I'm sore all over. I don't have the appetite for breakfast. You should keep sleeping. I'll pack. It's okay. I'm almost done. It's just a short left. Present shoe? Are you peeking at me changing again? Just hurry up. We need to get to the airport. This one, this one, and this one. Please be quick. Didn't we just have breakfast? Why did he order so much food when we have so little time before boarding? Shushang has started eating more and more lately. I'm sleepy. I'll just lay my head down for a little bit. Tangji? Mm, what is that? You should eat. You're always hungry. You ordered these for me? Did you order these because I didn't eat breakfast? What's going on? Xu Sheng isn't acting like himself. I don't feel like eating. I want to take a nap. Okay, I'll wake you up when it's boarding time. Thank you, President Xu. Why does it feel like... Xu Sheng is catering to my every whim. Tang Ji, it's boarding time. Oh. Why is he walking so fast? I can't keep up. My legs feel weak. President Shu? Can you walk a bit slower? I'm tired. Sure. How was your weekend? It was good. Zasha was very impressed with you. She'll be here next week with her close relatives for ancestral worship. You should come visit next time too. But Ms. Zhao told me yesterday that she'll be at a music festival next week. What is it? Really? Let me ask Mr. Zhao. Okay. Why'd you grab my arm? The newspaper was too noisy. Sorry. I'm not done reading it. Tangji? Hmm? I don't think they have the type of movies you like. How long is he going to make fun of me for that? By the way, I might need to visit Bingang next week. Are you going to date her, President Shu? I thought you two look good together. 
Mind your own business. I was just curious. You don't have to be like that. Even though who you date is none of my business, Tangji's attachment is harmless. He probably has unrealistic expectations of us because it was his first time. He just needs to realize and accept that there's no need for me to be callous. Tangji? Hmm? I'm not dating Joshua yet. He should understand what I mean. Oh. Why did Shengshu explain that to me? Who he dates is none of my business. He sure fell asleep quickly. So you don't care after all. Our flight will land in 15 minutes. He slept the entire flight. My shoulder sore. We are here? Yes, our driver is waiting for us. What's wrong with that guy? Sorry, but can we switch to another station? Of course, Mr. Tung. On the first night we were back in Grand Rapids, I had a strange nightmare. In that nightmare, Xu Sheng and I. That nightmare must be payback for what I did with Xu Sheng. But Xu Sheng seems more regretful than me. He's so afraid of me clinging to him. <sighs> the only thing I wanted was to live a normal life with my mom even though we argue every day because I'm gay. The negotiations were over the day before we went back to Bingang. Xu Sheng hosted a dinner for the attorneys and negotiators. Thank you everyone for your hard work the past couple of weeks. As someone born with a silver spoon in his mouth, Xu Sheng spared no efforts in his work. He toiled day and night for two whole weeks, and he even hosted a dinner party in the end. Cheers, President Xu. Thank you for hosting, President Xu. Did Tangji lose weight again? He has a knocked on my door at night, so it looks like he understood what I meant. Let's have a toast. It feels like he's even deliberately avoiding all physical contact with me. Though I guess that's a good thing. Oh, sure. So sociable. I'll be right back. Excuse me. Where did you get that cigarette? A nice lady gave it to me. 
Come back right after you're done. Yeah, I will. Hello, Xiang Yan? Mr. Xu, is Tang Zhi with you? Yes, what is it? His mother got into a fight with someone in prison and was stabbed with a sharpened tooth by Chantal. She's currently in the emergency room. Okay, I'm done, President Chu. Let's go back. Tangji seemed unusually interested in the adoptive mother molestation case. President Chu, when we get back to Bingong, can I visit my mom again? I feel uneasy whenever I think back to my last prison visit. Mom never liked saying cheesy things, so why did she? When it's not so busy. I'm busy every day. I want to show her the necklace I brought for her even though she can't wear it right now. Let's talk about this later. Thank you, President Xu. It wasn't a hard no, so there's still hope. President Xu, why are you still... The suspect in this child abuse case was a very friendly person according to their neighbors. The suspect often had backyard barbecues with these neighbors. And had a reputation for being kind and amicable. Tangji What's wrong? It's nothing. I'm going to sleep. Tangji, what are you afraid of? Why is this news report so distressing to you? I'm not. I just don't like seeing these unpleasant and ugly things. Are there any happier programs? 
This is the first time I realized how good Tangji is at lying. I want to call him out on his lies. I want to ask him whether the person his mother killed also did these things to him. And why he kept running away from his adoptive family. But I found myself unable to say anything. Don't move. Yes, your highness. He didn't move, just like I asked. Probably no one would find the connection between Tang Ji and the unnamed child involved in the Queen's Garden murder case from back then. The boy from that case whose face wasn't revealed grew up. Mr. Shu, are you there? Yes, go ahead. The surgery is still in progress, but her condition is better than the initial diagnosis. It should be completed soon. All right. Lawyer Zhang arrived at the hospital not long ago and found out that another prisoner was also stabbed. Her condition is worse than Shi Mengxiang. He's still looking at it. But if Shi Mengxiang instigated the fight, things could get complicated. Thank you for letting me know. Present Shu, I'm tired. I'm going to sleep. Really? You don't look tired. I am, even if I don't seem like it. Shusheng looks like he wants to tell me something. I have a bad feeling about this. What's wrong? Your mother got into a fight with someone in prison and got hurt. She's not in critical condition. A fight? Hurt? We have the fastest flight back to Bingang tomorrow. I can ask a doctor to prescribe you some sleeping pills if you have trouble falling asleep. Xu Sheng looks calm and expressionless, but I can tell from his eyes that he's concerned. Tang Ji? Do you want sleeping pills? Tang Ji? My vision started getting blurry from all the tears filling up in my eyes. Every single drop was like a precious piece of memory. This one is for the rainy days when I visited Changshan Women's Prison between the ages of 10 and 22. This one is for the hard-won moments of freedom when I escaped from the foster family. This one is for when I completed all my practice problem sets in my high school classroom. Don't cry. This one is for when I showed my mom my college acceptance letter through the glass partition of the visiting room. I want to go back to Bingong. I know. And I don't want any pills. Sometimes, Tang Ji unknowingly acts spoiled when he speaks. I'm sure that there are many people who'd abandon their principles for him. There are no special exceptions, including me. All right, but sleep at my place tonight. Okay.
sleeping in the same bed as Shushang without any desires, it feels unexpectedly safe. <laughs>